welcome to the Mendota Ranch. So today, last week we worked the flag. So today I'm gonna to show you working the, working the cattle. And we're gonna kind of work on, you know, how to maybe keep your cattle a little bit fresh. But um, yeah, so y'all come on inside. It's hot and windy again today. So let's, uh, let's go inside and see what we can screw up. So a buddy of mine, He's got, a, he's got a dairy, so I've, I'm trying some of these hostings for the first time, work horses on. The best way, instead of like sitting here working flat all the time, those cows sour really fast. And what I mean when they sour, they just kind of just stand there, or these steers, they just run over you. So what I'll do is I'm gonna work round and round. So I'm gonna throw most of these out. Maybe I'll leave five, four or five head in here, because I'm just gonna work a couple on my horse here. I'm not gonna work very many, because he's so fat and out of shape. I'm trying to get him legged up. So I'm gonna cut most of these guys out if I can and leave four or five in here and, and then we're gonna work, work. We're gonna work round and round and we're gonna be nice and slow and controlled and nothing silly maybe. <laughs> kind of getting them used to me coming around and around because I really want them to stay in the center of the arena. And these Holsteins are pretty slow. They don't, they're not, they're not bad to run off. So I bet we'll be fine. So I know somebody's going to be asking me a comment. How do I keep my sand so good? It's kind of like blow sand. I get out kind of on the other side of the alfalfa field and we hauled it in here. And then I've got sprinklers up here in the, in the top of my barn. So about every other night, the sprinkler system comes on and waters the whole arena. Same deal as last week. I want him to, I want him to get a little draw and a little bend. I don't want him to get too, too stiff, you know? This horse has kind of got a tendency to, he gets a little crowded. He gets, I don't know, he, get, he, get, he gets a little bowed up, you know? It's, I don't know if it's bowed up or just, he kind of just blows up and gets, gets doing kind of stupid stuff, so. I'd like for him to just kind of calm down and read the cow. All right, so I'm not gonna get a dog out yet. I've got, those dogs are out, but I'm not gonna get my good dogs out quite yet. I'm, we might have to. But what I wanna do is I wanna just have a slow day here. I'm just, cause my leg, I'm trying to get my horse legged up. And I just wanna go nice and easy and slow, nothing fancy, just, just track a cow around, work my horse a little bit. Keep my horse correct. Keep my, there you go. That's this is this is just what I want right here. Nice and slow. Keep my horse right. Today, I'm and I'm good with this slow cow. I'm fine. I'm not. I'm not looking for a bunch of action. I want my horses to be real smooth and calm. I want them to get all jacked up here. I don't want my horses low, no loping. Belle thinks she's really doing something over there. It's good for her, keep her busy. She's actually not bad at help right now. So, you, so we don't want to cut, we don't want to cut the same cow twice. That's, I call her shit tail cow because she got a big old dingleberry on her, on her tail. Something that's easy to remember. So let's get us another cow here. That cow looks really slow right there. Let's try him out, how about that? Come on, buddy. You ain't doing nothing, huh? All right, let's 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 try something else here. That one, we might come back and rope him. That is a slow cow. All right, let's try another Holstein. First time my horses saw these Holstein, it scared the hell out of them. Let's try this skinny cow. Maybe she runs around a little bit more. There we go. There we go, we got some action now. All I'm doing, I'm not getting ahead of the cow. All I want to do is track that cow pretty much and bump her back and forth and keep my horse looking at that cow, just like, just like the flag. 
let the cow drag me through the turn, okay? Try something else. These cows are super, super slow. Fixing to start roping them. I just need one that's gonna move a little bit and then we might rope one. Here we go, maybe. Fingers crossed. So I just want, my horse is fine. There we go. Bring it over there back, back to you. Horse is moving good. Horse is all good. I'm gonna leave him alone if he's good. Leave my hand down here if I can. Bail. Bail. Pull off of him, step to him. See how he hesitated there? He better get over it. That a boy. Oh. That was terrible. So that's exactly what he does. He, he got over there and he got all he got all jacked up and wadded up. And he started getting stiff again. So that's what I need to fix. He was good there coming across there and then as soon as that cow crowded him a little bit, he got all bowed up. And cows, are, cows right under you over there. Bam! Pick him up. All I'm doing is just helping him on the end so he doesn't get, doesn't get too far out of position. All right, pick him up right there. around with him. Make him wait here. There. Make him wait. Make him wait. There we go. Little he's a little head there. Pick him up, make him wait here. So pretty much, I was doing pretty good, and he was doing good, and as soon as that cow crowded us, then everything just fell apart, and that's fine. Man, if I don't have anything to work on, I, no use riding him. You always wanna finish on a good cow, that doesn't mean you're going to. I'm just gonna help him on these ends a little bit, just, if you just slow, just slow the motor down a little bit, buddy. Just tap the brakes. There we go. These old Holstein steers are something different now. They're hard to read. They just kind of, they're kind of numb. They're not kind of numb, they're like real numb. There we go. There we go. See how, he, see how that time he took a step back for a turn? That's what I was looking for. I, hel I helped him a little bit, but I just want him, I don't, I don't want him to step forward. He's always got to step back. Every time he does anything, he's got to stop and step back. I help him a little bit. Help him here. There you go. Help him again. Oh, he got a little forward step there. Need to help him again. So it seems like it's that side over there I'm having the trouble with right now. I'll get maybe one or two more turns here. I'll quit him. We'll step out in front of cow. Step back. There we go. That's what I was looking for. You see how he kind of he kind of draw back? That's what I was looking for right there. All right. I'm gonna quit that cow there. And then we're gonna change gears. So I hadn't roped off him in a long time, so I'm just gonna kind of swing a rope here and kind of track a cow a little bit. He's pretty confused on what we're doing here. Oh, hey, we might have some action now.
good. I think my horse broke pretty good sweat. That was a pretty good workout for him. Pretty good. All right. I think we'll probably quit it there. Um, so, you know, our main, our main objective today, our main reason working the horse today, we're just getting, we're getting him legged up, getting ready for branding season. What else? Getting the fat off of him. I think we've got a pretty good little sweat. I think it's about time to go wash him off. All right. We caught a few cows, we roped a few. I think we're done. I think I'll open the garage and kick them out. <laughs> Thing where I forgot to tell you, um, I didn't finish what I was telling you. I was talking about my feed, the alfalfa and the wheat mids. I said no mineral. What I meant, but what I meant to say is no mineral in the feed. I've got mineral blocks. I do trace mineral blocks. I mean, mostly salt. So it's not that I don't do any mineral, but that's what I do. So.